Hi, so I'm going to be installing this SunX USB 3.0 expansion card and this is a PCI Express card and it comes with four ports so what you see here is the card itself and it does come with some drivers now I'm you gonna be using this with Windows 10 and I've already installed this for probably about two months now and with Windows 10 you don't need the driver you don't you don't need the drivers for it. the operating system will automatically detect the drivers here so that's the USB 3.0 and you'll see the speed rating there now I am going to be installing this in my Lenovo and this does require a SATA input or it, it, it's the SATA electrical input not the hard drive input uh, you see there's the four ports there and you'll notice that it is a PCI Express X1 and up at the top there in the black you see it is a, a SATA electrical input and I'm gonna be using a Molax to SATA electrical extension there just wanna show you in the process of installing it so I have in my case three expansion slots and uh, just want to show you here zooming in where I'm going to actually put it so that's the expansion slots and I do have three free so it's pretty roomy and I'm going to zoom in here just to show you step by step So, so in my case, you'll see that that's the PCI Express there. Now, I do have links in the description area of, of uh, this card. So this card has very good ratings in the both Newegg and Amazon. It has, for the most part, a lot of five-star ratings. And the people who rate it low, usually they have driver issues with, uh, I believe, Windows 7. Or they're not very tech savvy so you see I, I'm gonna put this in to the Express but it is very good ratings and I do have this in the description area as well as the links to a Molax to SATA splitter in case you need to split the Molax now in my case I am using a I'm gonna be using a Molax single direct Molax to SATA splitter Whereas I would recommend if you're going to buy one, you might as well buy the Y splitter. That is a Molax splitting into two SATA plugs. So I'm going to zoom in later on here and give you a good look. So I've seated the card already. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to plug in the electrical. I'm going to show you the outside now. So my Nanovo is very convenient because this is merely just a thumb screw but you'll see there's the four ports and now I, I'm gonna have plenty of USB 3.0 ports so now I'm gonna have to plug in the electrical and you'll see I do have free SATA cables but I really want to use this extension and once again I have this in the description area in case you need to buy one of these but I would recommend instead of buying this one-to-one -to, -one, to buy a Molax to two SATA splitters meaning it's a cable that has one Molax at one end and two SATA inputs or outputs at the other end so I'm just gonna wiggle this in and I am gonna plug the other end but I, I prefer I preferred this because it gives you an extra six inches of extension whereas even if I had a SATA cable free which I actually do it might not reach all the way down to the bottom As you can see now I just plugged it in and that's really it that's how you install and uh, you know uh, please subscribe and I hope this helped in uh, helping you decide what to buy please subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching